Hello! On to episode 18, Tentacool and Tentacruel. I have no idea what this episode is about, but to recap the last episode, the gang found themselves washed up on this island after being shipwrecked. The Pokemon were in one area and the people were in another area. There were these giant Pokemon all around who were like attacking them and it was really scary. Scary. But in the end, they met up and then found out that the giant Pokemon were actually robots and that they were in a theme park, kind of like Jurassic Park. If you didn't watch that one, I highly recommend going back and checking that one out because that is the episode where you actually get to see what the Pokemon are saying in the subtitles. And I don't think there's any other episodes in the entire anime that are like that. Correct me if I'm wrong because I've only seen like the first beginning of it. As a reminder, this is not a market substitute. I'll be showing clips from this episode, not the episode in its entirety. I don't want to get in trouble with copyright. Finally, relaxing water again instead of like trying to kill them water. Porta Vista, isn't that it weird? There's no town It'll called Porta Vista in Pokemon. I'm really confused about like where this is. Oh, a horsey. Is Misty gonna catch it? Oh no, it is and there's no Pokemon. Oh. Oh my goodness. What? I have a feeling this is going to be a very Misty-centric episode because it's all about water trip Pokemon. Whoa! They're floating. I mean, I guess because they're psychic types, but like, wow. Water can never just be peaceful and pretty. But seriously, people need to have respect for the ocean because there are things lurking deep under there that could totally kill you. Who is this woman? Oh, she's building a resort on Pokemon's, like, territory. Yeah, she's gonna be destroying Pokemon's habitats in order to build her resort. Wow. I hate people like that. She's totally, like, just a villain. Just straight up. Oh, Misty thinks Tentacool are cute. When she doesn't like bug Pokemon. Oh, oh, it's looking much better. This reminds me of Dungeons and Dragons. Like this is the type of thing that you encounter in that. Then you have to kind of like solve what's going on by talking to all the NPCs. Ash, Misty, Brock at the party. There's going to be a whole bunch of people. I mean, this is realistic. Whoa, why does she have a tank, though? Oh, Team Rocket. Team Rocket's going to take the job. I was going to say, we have a new villain in this episode. And, like, what about our old villains? They're just going out to just try to kill things. Like, environmentally, that's so bad. But it's really realistic because it seems like they're actually trying to destroy the coral reef habitat, which is actually happening in real life. Like, if you guys haven't heard about what's going on with that, like you should really look into it because it's really crazy. And that explains why when you play the video game, there are just like tons of tentacle. Whoa, that is a giant tentacle. Oh my gosh, tentacle isn't usually that big. Oh my gosh, they're actually like firing guns at a Pokemon. But they did nothing. I wonder if there was ever a war between like people versus Pokemon and how that would even resolve. Whoa, that's so scary. Oh my gosh. Wow. A lot of people would die from this. Like, this is a tragedy. Are they gonna have me out speak for the. Whoa. That's weird because Tentacruel and Tentacruel do not have any sort of like psychic powers. Oh, Misty, you, you did your best. Nobody else figured it out and you were the only one who was like on their side. Oh no, Horsey is so brave. Horsey's standing up for both sides and like finding a compromise. Oh, it's her. Everybody around them is like, what is even happening? You need Charmander because I was gonna say, Charmander would not be a good Pokemon to have in this situation. Oh, hey! That's a clip from the anime that doesn't really make sense because, like, how are they all carrying them? Oh no! What is Misty gonna do? Okay, I wish we had subtitles for this episode. Oh, Misty. I'm sorry, so please. Is Tanako gonna believe her? Just throwing me out. Wow. Oh no. She's really the big problem here. Why does she have so many guns? 
I mean, her name is Nasty Mo, like she's nasty. So, I like how the enemy in this episode is basically capitalism. Does that mean Nastina is dead? Like, did Tentacruel just kill her? Not to mention that Tentacruel definitely just killed a whole bunch of people. I mean, like, look at the way the city looks right now. People definitely drowned, buildings were destroyed, so people in those buildings probably did not survive. But the death count on this episode is probably higher than any other. They had to show that to be like, no, she didn't die. This is a kid show after all. Oh, yay, Misty got horsey. Even though I didn't remember that episode literally at all going into it, it was really good. It very much reminded me of Captain Planet, which was also like showing around this time, I think. The whole protecting the environment, understanding that even though humans might want specific things like a nice resort or like those kind of things, you have to be understanding of what is going on in the natural world when you're trying to like build that thing so that you don't like destroy everything. And also the fact that she was doing it just because she wanted money makes it like basically a statement about capitalism that might be like political and controversial but like Pokemon went there in the 90s so that's pretty cool. They're even making Misty more complex because in the past when she was afraid of bugs it was like really annoying and it seemed very stereotypical but in this case she's the one who's like oh tentacle are cute even though everybody else is like oh they're gross and scared of them and stuff so in this episode, they kind of like reversed that stereotype and instead made her a complex character, which I really appreciate. If you like this episode, click that like button. If you want to see more, click subscribe. I post anime reactions on Sundays. I post videos now on Fridays. Yes, that is a change. I used to post them on Thursdays. And I live stream on YouTube on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. EST. Bye.